Hey guys, it's me the Sextrovert, and I know I haven't talked about enhancement products for a while. That's I've kind of throttled down on doing those lately just because it was hard to kind of make sure I was clean for certain points and then, you know, the test would be objective because I had like a control period. But after finally working it out, I have decided to do another male enhancement review for Erectin. And one of my biggest questions was, hmm, do you reckon that you can erect an erection with Erectin? Now, besides that little tongue twister, I got to looking at what was in it and why exactly it was supposed to be different than some of the other ones. I've taken a lot of these pills by now. A lot of them are kind of just a hodgepodge of different uh, herbal supplements and things like that with no real uh, teeth on them, so to speak, right? Like you might feel slightly like your, your, your blood pressure changed or something, but this one, I really wanted to get to the bottom of why they, it was so special. Now, like a lot of other products, it has bioperine in it. Now, that's a really fancy name for just black pepper extract, and it just helps with bioavailability. One of the biggest problems with supplements is that the materials in them are not bioavailable. One of the biggest offenders for this is magnesium oxide being sold in supplements as like an available form of magnesium. But anyways, I picked up this bottle of Erectin using the same coupon I'm going to link in the description below if anyone wants to save about 10% off or so. But what really, really makes it special is a few different things. Now, I'm not too sure how much stock I necessarily put in it, but these casings are specifically made to kind of last through uh, being digested by the stomach and go into the small intestine where I do know that that's where the absorption of most minerals takes place and I guess it having a coating that's specifically meant to make it last longer to get where it needs to go is definitely in its favor. When it comes to the rest of the ingredients, I'll do my best to kind of show them off here. Uh, saw palmetto, ginkgo biloba, these have been used for increased uh, nitric oxide, which is extremely useful as it helps dilate the blood vessels to fill the penis, um, fill it up with blood. That's how a penis works, fellas. Now, all of the other ingredients are pretty much the same deal. The red ginseng, I've seen that lots in all kinds of uh, circulatory supplements. The only real thing that's, there, there's a little bit of horny goat weed too. Like it has a lot of, the common uh, supplements for this purpose and a lot of other ones that I think are just supposed to round out the whole experience. Erectin doesn't necessarily do one thing extremely well, but after about three to four weeks, I did notice that like my max capacity for an erection was like, the, the if it was a water balloon, it would have felt more full, if you know what I'm saying. It was, it was a lot stronger in quality. I needed a lot less attention if I want a lot less attention paid to it, if I wanted to, you know, keep it up and keep it going, you know, maybe maybe if I had to go leave, put on a towel, I would still come on and come back and I would still be hard. That was always nice because looking at the ingredients and my overall experience, it's just pretty much um, a herbal formulation meant to optimize nitric acid and just how the circulatory system can like pump blood into the penis. It's not necessarily cutting edge, edge science, but it's really hard to find one of these pills that gets it right, because a lot of them do try to be, you know, they try to pretend to be something they're not, and that's, you know, some powerful, crazy, go nuts, change your life thing. Now, I think Erectin is a little guilty of it too, I'm not sure though, but I'm pretty sure that they're, when they talk about it, it's pretty measured. Obviously, they're going to say that it does all the things it does on the front. But in general, I didn't notice a lot of side effects, like a lot of different circulatory uh, supplements. I guess I kind of just feel um, maybe just a little different for, for the first week or two as I kind of my body gets used to it being in my system. But overall, Besides possibly being a little overheated one day, which I can't even necessarily attribute to the Erectin. It was very, very brief, but I felt I might as well mention it. It was pretty much smooth sailing. I just make sure to drink a lot of water in general, no matter what supplement I'm on. So that is something that also might have helped me just kind of get through without too much of a fuss. But it only took three and a half weeks, I'd say, for noticeable, like, easier to get erect and it just flowed a lot better. It wasn't over the moon, I didn't feel 16 again, but I could really feel like I could depend 
on my Jimmy a little bit more, right? And it's like he wanted to be there too, and I wasn't just dragging him along to the dance. So that's all I have to say about Erectin. Don't forget about the coupon in the description. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.